Hi boys and girls, happy Monday. Today is April 20th, 2020. And today I am at my kitchen table. I'm gonna do a lesson from my kitchen table because this week it is cooking with Mrs. Boudreaux. Yay! So I'm changing it up just a little bit, just so you don't get bored. I'm trying to make it as exciting as I possibly can. So today we are gonna start with a recipe. We're gonna follow like a very simple recipe for making peanut butter crackers. We're gonna start with our ingredients, which are of course peanut butter and crackers. So just two ingredients. And what we're gonna do is I am gonna start off with eight crackers. So I'm gonna count out the crackers first to make sure that I have eight because I wanna make four sandwiches. So I need to have four crackers on the top and four crackers on the bottom, and then I'm gonna sandwich them together. And four and four makes eight, okay? So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, and then I wanna get a match for each one. So I have four plus four equals, and you can't see that. Let's put it down, there we go. Four and four makes eight. So I'm going to represent that with a number sentence. So four plus four equals eight. Read it with me, boys and girls. Four plus four equals eight. Awesome. All right, next for my very simple recipe, I'm gonna turn them into um, peanut butter sandwiches. So we, of course, need the peanut butter in the middle of it. So I am gonna put the peanut butter on just a little bit. And when I was a little girl, boys and girls, I loved peanut butter crackers. I always had this as part of my lunch. Oops, so I wanna take this one and match it up. And then I wanna take this one and put it on top. And then I wanna take peanut butter right here. And there we go. Now I have four sandwiches. Okay, one, two, three, four, awesome. Put that over to the side. And now we're going to do some subtraction with these peanut butter crackers, okay? So I am gonna start off with the four that I have here. And I'm just gonna take one away. So right now, boys and girls, you don't need to do anything, you just need to watch me, okay? So I have four, and I'm going to take one away. Bye-bye. And now I have, of course, three that remain, or three that are left. So read that with me, please. Four minus one equals three. Very good. Now I have three. I'm going to take two away this time. So I had three. I'm gonna write three. I'm going to take two away. Now I have one that is left. So read that sentence with me. Three minus two equals one. One more time. Three minus two equals one. Very good. Now, for my remaining one, my last one. Oops, I just need a napkin. I have peanut butter on my fingers. I'm going to write the number one. And I'm going to take this one away. Bye-bye. So I'm going to show that that one went away. So one minus one equals zero, okay? You say it with me. One minus one equals zero. I had the one, I took it away. Now there's zero left. There aren't any more crackers left, okay? All right, so I'm gonna erase my board. You are going to get a piece of paper, please, and a pencil, and we are gonna do some problems together. Get that paper and pencil. Great, I'm getting peanut butter everywhere. All right, so let's see. Let's start with the four. So everyone write four on your board. Four on your board. I'm going to take three away. Okay, do the whole number sentence. Then we're gonna talk about it. Okay, awesome. Ready? 
I had four, I took three away, I'm left with one. So this is how we write it. Four minus three equals one. Copycat or fix it if it doesn't look exactly like this. Okay, next we're gonna do two more. So let's see, I'm gonna start with two. Two. Two minus two equals how many? I have two. I'm going to take them away. Boop. What am I left with? Okay, ready? Let's turn our boards over. Let's turn our papers over. One, two, three. Does it look like mine? Let's see. Do you have two minus two equals zero? If you do, you got it correct. Okay. Last one for today. So let's see. We're going to go, we're going to start with three. These are very messy. I made these very messy. The peanut butter is oozing out. Three. Take away. Hi, Lanes. Say hi, hi Lanes. <laughs> okay. Three minus one. No, no, I'm doing this, sweetheart. Three minus, uh, let's do just one. Three minus one. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it should look just like mine, boys and girls. Three minus one equals two. Okay, let's read them from the top. Ready? Four minus three equals one. Read it with me again. Four minus three equals one. Two minus two equals zero. And three minus one equals two. Awesome. Can you go get me a paper towel, honey? Give me a paper towel. Thank you. All right, I'm going to erase all of this. And I have a little bit of peanut butter on my board, so my daughter's going to help me get a paper towel and clean that up because I'm out of paper towels. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, next, what we're going to do is... Can I help you? Um, this, no, I'm almost finished with this. You can help me with the next one. Okay, sweetheart? Okay. All right, I promise. All right, so I'm going to move my peanut butter crackers. So what I need to do next is write about what I just did. So first, wow, I made a mess. <laughs> okay, so first, I, I'm going to try to model it for you. First, I made, mmm, a, d. Now that says mad. We need a silent E at the end, and it helps that vowel say its name. We're going to be addressing that this week as well. I know we've done it at school, but we're going to be doing it a little bit more through the videos. So that silent E rule helps the vowel say its name. First, I made peanut, peanut, b, 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 a, t, 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 er, crackers, cur, c, r, Ah, short A, cr ack. Oh, we worked on that k at the end of the word. Not just C, not just K, C K. Crack ers. First, I made peanut butter crackers. Then I subtracted. Oh, that's a long one. Subter. There's a blend. Acted, subtracted. Then I subtracted with the crackers. And then what goes at the end of my sentence? The telling sentence? A period. And then last, what did we do? Last, we wrote about it. That's what I'm doing right now. Last, we or I, last I, wrote about it. The end. Okay, let's see if that makes sense. 
Last I wrote about it. The end. All right, let's take it from the beginning. Let's make sure this makes sense, okay? Because that's what good writers do. They always want to check their work and make sure that the writing makes sense, that it sounds right in your ears, okay? First, I made peanut butter crackers, period, at the end of that sentence. Then I subtracted with the crackers. Last, I wrote about it. The end. So I kind of just told the story of what we just did here today. So in your writing today, I'm looking for evidence that you are starting to use a finger space in between your words. Remember to use the opposite hand that you write with. So I'm right-handed. So this hand's gonna be holding the pencil. So the other finger is going on the other hand, pointy finger is gonna hold the space, okay? And if you would like to use a popsicle stick like we use at school, you can ask your mom, maybe you have a popsicle stick at home or something that would hold the, the space, like a straw would work. Even a marker would work or a crayon would work to hold the space in between your words. I'm also looking for evidence that you are spelling those popcorn words correctly, like I and with and the and the and it. Look at all those popcorn words and I, and just I on this page, or on this board. So I'm looking for the evidence that those popcorn words are spelled correctly. And then other words that are longer, I'm looking for evidence that you're really stretching out the sounds and using all that knowledge that you know about letters and sounds and putting it into your writing. So as always, try your best, and I wanna see a picture of your writing today on the Remind app, or email. Your parents can email it to me as well, and I will see you next time. Bye, boys and girls.